Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Wait. So the reason why we're here instead of in-game is I was wanting to spice up the series a little bit. So I think for every episode, we're going to add at least one mod. So this episode, that is going to be Eve. Do we need the config files? Default configuration for Eve, I think so. And shirt change. Today we are going to go to the Mun. Uh, we're not going to actually land on it. Just going to do a flyby, probably if we return the trajectory. And we're going to do that with uh, a probe rather than a Kerbal. Let's see. Construct a temperature survey of Kerbin. Test heat shield. Splash down. Mark 16 parachute. Yeah. Temperature. Separator landed. Stack separator landed at Kerbin. Why? Is that a big one? TR2C. That is the small one, so I guess we'll take that too. Escape trajectory. Don't not gonna take that one. Um Morocco Mix brand decoupler. Well, in orbit, 540 to 550, that's kind of a narrow margin. Oh, and that's the large one too, so probably not that one. And RT-10 in flight between 11 and 15 is a bit high. Between 520 and 580, I think we could probably pull that off. Okay, so what do we need? Inline reaction will be nice. And we're going to need some bigger fuel tanks. Launch clamps would kind of be nice. Let's go with fuel tank. And 120 left. So we got one more. Oh, maybe the small engine pack. Uh, yeah, let's take that. So we're going to start off with a probe core, the Stayputnik, and we need an antenna for that because of the uh, new addition of 1.2. Uh, also I got that inline reaction wheel because the probe cores don't have reaction wheels been built into them anymore. Um, I'm, I'm actually redundantly putting on batteries. At the time I didn't know hibernation is a thing. I'm not sure if that's new to 1.2 or if it was added earlier, uh, but that allows you to severely limit the amount of power that the probe takes. I think it might be actually intended to stop it from taking power, but at high time warp it does take a little bit. Anyways, there's the probe that we're going to be sending to the moon. Now time to test it. Testing went fairly well. We accomplished a successful test of the upper stage re-entering the atmosphere at about uh, what we're going to expect uh, returning from the moon. That's pretty important that it survives that so we can actually recover the science. Anyways, we're just launching now, uh, getting to an orbit, coming around the backside and um, setting up for the burn to the moon. We haven't unlocked maneuver nodes yet, so we don't have those. 
and I forgot to hibernate it. So we lost electrical power. Again, we are doing the, pretty much the same thing here. Um, and of course, it's early on, so we don't have SAS to lock trajectory. Uh, we also don't have encounters, so using the map view to figure out where I'm going to encounter the moon is not a thing that we can do. Um, here I'm trying to burn to gain electrical power, and then I end up forgetting to put it back in hibernation once we get down around the moon. Oh, curb net. Uh, that's something new that I was messing around with a little bit there. Uh, so this is going to be a fail uh, as well. And we're finally off on our final voyage to the moon. This one, we actually do make it. Um, but yeah, because we don't have that encounter, I wasn't able to figure out uh, how to get the free return trajectory going. I don't have that kind of math memorized. Um, so I guess you'll see that here after a bit. There I'm doing the proper hibernation and realize that I don't need those extra batteries uh, that I packed. I actually got the encounter so perfect that uh, I intersected the moon and had to burn radially to, um, to get around. low space over MUN. Uh, we're gonna get some science. And that was really nice right there. Um, the, the eclipse of the moon, but it's weird. There's a bug because it still shows light on the spacecraft. But I guess that's good. So we can actually uh, collect the science, put it back in hibernation. Now see, this is where I messed up. I should have circularized and then come out the back side of the moon's orbit instead. We got flung way up into a much higher orbit than the moon and had to burn quite a bit uh, to get a low, tr low enough periapse around Kerbin. Uh, we're just going over KSC now. And then I'm going a little bit too fast and I'm concerned about that. So I'm burning radial to uh, hopefully stay out of the thicker parts of the atmosphere and not explode. and we're down. We're not on land, so we couldn't test the stack separator, unfortunately. Okay, so we got 52 science from that. Uh, 300 or 3,882 funds. I swear we had a lot less than that when we started. Maybe, oh, it was probably from contracts. Um, crew, no crew, okay. Uh, so, what do we have next? Oh yes, the other contracts that we have active. Uh, so I wasn't paying close enough attention and the stack separator was actually supposed to be landed at Kerbin. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do the hammer now. Should I save this? Yes. Mm. Mud. Get rid of that entirely. Another probe core. So we have to be going 520 meters per 520, 580 at 11 to 15. So uh, let's throw. 
Actually, I'm gonna... Minecraft one. I'm gonna stick with our, our pro body here. Don't need a heat shield. Oops. up to speed. Hopefully we have enough control authority uh, from this little, where is it? It's in here somewhere. Below that, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Uh, wheel authority. I'll leave that at 100. Okay. Wings for more stability. I think that should be good. And we're gonna... Save and launch. I wasn't able to quite get to land. It was a bit uh, unwieldy there. Uh, but we recovered a few parts and got that contract done, which is the important part. Um, not sure if you noticed in our um, map view, I didn't get an encounter and I didn't have um, nodes. So I think if I upgrade... Oh no, that doesn't. Oh, is it the second? It's probably the second upgrade that gets it, so... Unowned object tracking, no? Hmm. Maybe that's a... I don't think it's a vehicle assembly building thing. R&D is just... Off-world EVA. Is it astronaut complex? No, that's performing EVAs. Administrative building, haven't done anything with that yet. Unlimited active contracts is the next upgrade there. Um, not sure what we're going to do next. I think I can just put this on the pad. Can I? Okay, that worked. <laughs> That's about the simplest contract there is. Uh, did I even, like, what did I get for funds for that? Can I? Archives? Um... 1,800. Alrighty then. Orbit. Return to Corbin from orbit. Okay, so that's circularizing. It's not too much more difficult. Small landing gear. Why would I test the landing gear while orbiting? Run test option. Uh, is there just in orbit? Oh, in orbit around Corbin. Okay. So I think that's probably stuff that we're going to look into and do next time. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I will see you guys next week.